Okay, so I just have this strong urge to read this little this little chapter, I guess. Um, but it's from the book uh, Lady in Waiting by Ken. Uh, sorry, Jackie Candle. Okay. So, okay, let me begin. <laughs> sorry, my nose is stuffed up. Diligence and the ministry of service. It is doubtful that there could ever be a better time to serve Jesus than this moment of singleness. Rather than wasting precious moments fantasizing about an earthly lover, take advantage of your free hours each day to serve the Lord of heaven. If you are frustrated and distracted rather than fruitful fruit fruitfully serving Jesus then ask him right now to adjust your vision as Ruth diligently worked at what she could God sent her a man to protect and provide for her God will do the same for you if that is in his plan is there a ministry opportunity you should be working with why not consider a short-term mission trip don't worry about that certain guy you have had your eye on for a while if he is god's best for you he will be there when you return <laughs> your single state may not be permanent but it but it definitely is not to be comatose wait sorry but it definitely is not to be a comatose state until your prince charming arrives and whisks you off to his castle um single women are not sleeping beauties waiting for their prince to fight his way through the thorns and pass the wicked witch to finally kiss them awake that is an illusion often used by the enemy to defraud women. Goodness. <laughs> is there an opportunity of service that you have avoided because you can't give up your post on the castle wall? Oh my God. Looking for your knight in shiny armor. Mm -hmm. Is there an application for a summer ministry waiting for you to fill out? Such a chance may come again next summer, but then it will be even harder to respond to the prospect of serving. For time brings more and more distractions. As you get older, you assume more obligations and responsibilities that demand your time and attention. Such distractions will make serving Jesus even more difficult. Have you given Jesus full reign over your time? Don't waste your singleness. This is the time to develop an eternal skill set that will not only bless your singleness, but also your marriage and parenting someday. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have noticed that single women who have learned how to serve effectively, effectively during their free hours are the very women who, even married, can squeeze into their crazy paced life chances to serve. Those singles who didn't use their free time for Jesus are more likely to pass up a chance to serve Jesus when they are busy as married women. Okay, I didn't. Those singles who didn't use their free time for Jesus are more likely to pass up a chance to serve Jesus when they are busy as married women. Don't wait. Okay, here it is. Don't waste your singleness. This is the time to develop an eternal skill set that will not only bless your singleness, but also your married and parenting someday. 
limitless ministry opportunities exist for the lady of diligence. These ministries are available right this moment. They do not demand a Bible college education. The only requirement is a single woman who desires to use her time wisely in ministry. Okay, okay, okay. now I want to read this one. Diligence and the Ministry of Writing. Oh, goodness. This ministry requires pen, paper, and a willing heart. Much of the New Testament was originally written as letters to believers. An encouraging letter or postcard can be read and reread. So often a person will think about writing someone a letter, but but the thought never becomes action. You gotta excuse, like, <laughs> my head hurts so much right now, but I'm gonna continue to read. You may ignore the inward suggestion because of a busy schedule or a resistance to writing. A personal note, though, serves as oxygen to the soul of the recipient. He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. Proverbs 11.25 NIV <sighs> With the cost of greeting cards increasing to the price of what used to be the cost of a book, I may not send actual cards as frequently as I used to. But there are plenty of other methods to communicate words of hope, including email messages, texting, and even phone calls. Whether the encouragement is spoken or written, the ministry of encouragement is a critical part of soul care. If you are not comfortable writing a full letter or your schedule does not permit such a ministry in writing, then purchase some pre-stamped postcards and try to send them regularly to different people who need a refreshing word. Write an email or send a Facebook message. The Lord wants you to be involved in the lives of those around you and writing is one of those opportunities. Uh, okay. Diligence and the Ministry of Listening A ministry of listening is available right now. When someone is grieving, your presence provides more power than words. When someone is burdened, you may want to just listen and silently pray rather than verbally give the solution to the problem. Being content to listen to someone today is a gift you can give. A listener provides a healing audience for someone who is hurting. When Jackie's sister died, listeners who allowed her to share the loss and cry freely were God's greatest source of comfort. Being content to listen is a gift you can give to someone today. It may take a gentle touch to minister to the spirit. It is also, it also may require just being with the person. Whether standing for hours in a hospital hallway or sitting by a sick bed, sometimes even the greatest songs or truths are not the appropriate thing during a crisis. Like one who takes away a garment on a cold or like vinegar poured on soda is one who sings songs to a heavy heart. Proverbs 2520 NIV. <laughs> this ministry requires seminary training but a loving, listening heart. Listening to a person is like being a bucket for the heart's well. 
most women need to talk to think wise is the woman who not only knows how to listen but also knows how to ask key questions this listening and asking questions is a profound ministry proverbs clearly states the effectiveness of a bucket used to draw up purpose and understanding from someone's heart. The purpose of a man's heart are deep waters, but a man of understanding draws them out. Proverbs 25. Okay, so that was the first, that was the end of the ministry of listening. Now the second part, or another part is Diligence and the Ministry of Hospitality. All right. The Ministry of Hospitality doesn't require a meal worthy of Martha Stewart or your home fit for HGTV. It is simply cooking for others as a significant ministry, especially during illness or bereave bereavement. Casseroles and cakes can be can be such a blessing to a new mother, an elderly neighbor, or someone emotionally devastated by a death in the family. What a way to share the love of Christ with someone who needs to see Christianity in action. Please do not limit your ministry of hospitality to candlelight dinners for the man of your dreams. Think how a beautiful candlelight dinner for a group of single women or even high school girls can minister, can minister to them. Mm. Okay. Diligence and the ministry of helps. This ministry requires time, but it is invaluable. Helping others with the daily lives is a gift that breaks their exhausting monotony. Helping a friend get her apartment ready for special guests or helping her move into a new place leaves the recipient grateful. Mere physical labor may seem so insignificant in comparison to church visitation, but the word of God speaks clearly to such a misception. Whether then you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10.31 Maybe a friend needs a ride to the airport during rush hour, or maybe she needs her oven cleaned or even her laundry done. These duties can all be done on tow to the Lord. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men. Collisions 323. Whoa. And that was, well, yeah, what y'all think? I, I'm starting to love to read. Thank you so much for listening it was just me reading this is my angela reads a chapter but let me know what y'all think um did y'all like it did y'all not you can go ahead and subscribe click the little little bell button but i really enjoyed this um i'll see y'all next time have a good day i love y'all god bless it's gonna be a beautiful day